Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back on my channel. Today I just wanted to give you a little update about me and talk about some stuff that I bought. You know, in the last month I did some upgrades on my gear, but I didn't do like the most popular upgrades like getting a new camera or getting a new lens. I focused on all the little things that make your videos and your photography really stand out and make it cinematic and look really pleasing. I got myself some pretty nice stuff like a lamp, a microphone or the GoPro mount or many other things. But there was always one thing that I wanted to upgrade and I never got to tackle that. So last week I decided to now focus on that problem. The problem that I'm talking about was the screen of my laptop. You know, my laptop is really bad and it's old. And the screen of it makes so ugly colors and contrast and everything. It just... Mm. Editing on this laptop is a pain in the ass. So I went on the internet and I looked out for screens that are good for photo editing but aren't too expensive because I was on a tight budget. And what I ended up buying was this monitor. <sighs> this is a Samsung monitor that I don't know the name of because monitors are always named in so confusing names. I just can't understand it. I mean, why can't they name a monitor in a regular name like Jared or Jonas or Richard? So this thing cost me 120 euros and I bought it because it's supposed to be really good for the price. And yesterday morning it came in the mail and I instantly wanted to set it up. And when I set it up I realized that Samsung did a really great job at thinking about a way to set it up. Because it was just so easy you could see that they really thought about how the customer could set it up in only 5 minutes and it really works well. Yesterday, by the way, was also the first day where we got snow. Where I live, we don't get that much snow anymore because of climate change. It's always that in the winter we have like one or two days where it snows. And that's the only opportunity to go out and play in the snow or do whatever you want. But the snow wasn't coming in the morning or something. It was coming in the evening. And I knew that the next day was so warm that it would be gone until the next day. So at 11 p.m. I looked out and saw that it was snowing and I just thought I will do what I must. Alright, but to get back to the monitor, I recorded how I set this thing up and I think it's worth showing because maybe you also want to buy this and then you instantly know how to set this thing up.
since I set it up yesterday, I spent so much time doing stuff on my computer, editing photos, watching videos, uh, yeah, spending time on Instagram, you know, all that good stuff. And especially at the photo editing, I realized that this monitor was exactly what I was looking for because, you know, it has accurate colors and it has accurate contrast. And the thing was, the old monitor was so different to all the phone monitors and all the newer monitors that when I edited photos on it, I wasn't able to see how it looks on a regular monitor. And now I can do it and this is so fulfilling and after only a day I can say that this is well invested money. So yeah, if you need something for your editing game, for your photography and you don't really know what it is, then think about buying a monitor. All right, so that's about it. If you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and share the video with your friends. And with all that said and done, take your camera and have fun.